yes 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 what's going on guys this has been aka day training addict and i have another great video for you guys listen you're gonna love this video especially if you are a swing trader and you love your sniper entries or even if you're a day trader you're gonna love this video trust me i have some great information so make sure you hit that like button make sure you hit that subscribe button especially if you're new to this channel because i've been trading for 13 years right and um, I know a lot about these markets and you see a lot of people on YouTube, you know, only trading for two years, only trading for three years. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but I believe I have a lot to offer. I know a lot about these markets. You know, I started when we had that 08 crash. You remember that financial crash we had, guys, and in, in back in 08? I started, you know, trading back then and I know how to trade. And I've been through a lot and I know the different market conditions. Okay. A lot of these guys, they never been through a lot. They only been through the good times when things get rough. Okay. Most of these guys are probably going to disappear. Okay. A lot of these guys don't know how to navigate actually perfect example. And don't worry, we will get to, uh, you know, the sniper injuries, but I remember, I think it was the beginning of March or the end of February when we had that, uh, you know, that lot, lock, that lockdown. Okay. And the market was. Uh, changing a lot of so-called gurus out here was complaining about the market and saying the market was changing and how this strategy wasn't working at the time blah 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 that's what i'm talking about okay you have guys that have only been training for a year two years they don't understand how to navigate through these markets okay so i'm that guy that understand these markets so make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm well connected. I know a lot of people that used to work for Wall Street. I know a lot of people that used to work for hedge funds and prop firms and, you know, these big firms that basically was managing over a half a billion dollars or a billion dollars. So I know these guys and I know, you know, a lot that goes, you know, on behind the scenes. When you talk to these guys, these guys are talking a different language. Actually, I personally know right now a guy that's managing around. I would say 80 to 100 million dollars and you know when you sit down and talk to these guys these guys uh, believe it or not a lot of these guys are not you know they're not cocky you know they they they, they would sit down they would talk to you and um you know they have a lot of knowledge and those are the type of people that i mess with okay so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to learn from a guy okay that just understand the market so let's get to this video Shout out to all my addicts out there because you know I'm not the only one that's addicted to the markets. So shout out to all my addicts out there, man. Listen, when it comes to these sniper entries, you can actually use a lot of strategies to get in. So uh, today we're going to talk about multiple ways to get in when you are looking for your sniper entry. So you can use support and resistance. We're going to talk about that today. You can use supply and demand. Definitely going to talk about that. You can use trend lines, okay? And uh, you can use reversal setups. And today we're gonna to talk about the head and shoulders. So let's get into the content, guys, and let's talk about how to get these sniper entries, okay? So let's get it. Now, right now, what we have in front of us, right? We're looking at the uh, Canadian dollar, okay? We have resistance right here, you can tell, okay? We first, we try to go up right here. We try to make a high, high, couldn't, okay? Again, try to make another high, we couldn't. So it's, right now it's starting to build resistance right here. Okay, so what I see, uh, what I'm gonna do is basically take my horizontal line. Now you can draw your resistance or support at the body of the candle, or you can use the wick. Okay, right now we're gonna use the body. And now we are looking right here at this level because we see the market made, made a new high right here. And it tried to make a new high, okay? And then we start to form resistance right here. So we're gonna, we're gonna look at this area right here. So let's put a circle around that area real quick. So we know exactly what we're looking at. And then we're gonna drop down to the five minute chart. Right now, this is a four hour chart. We're gonna drop down to the five minute chart. We're gonna look for some sniper entries, okay? Okay, so this is the five minute chart right here. Now, I wanna go to the part where it hit the resistance, okay? You see how it was starting to sell off, all right? It, it wasn't a lot of selling going on right here, okay? So if I see this, I'm not even gonna to touch it, okay? Now notice how we start to see more volume right here. Notice how we had this big candle right here, but you know no follow through okay no follow through at all okay we have bulls trying to come in but guess what they can't push it back up the next candle is a nice big red candle wiping out that big green bar right here okay and then we have multiple touches right here look 
a rejection right here, another rejection right here. Now, this is where I'm looking at right here, guys. You see this selling right going on right here? This is what I'm looking at, okay? This is a nice supply area right here. So what I can do is I say, okay, we have multiple rejections, and then we start to sell off right here. So I'm going to draw my supply zone right here. So let's get that out of the way, okay? And I'm going to wait for price to come back to my supply zone, okay? You know, that's just one way you can get in. You can get in multiple ways, okay? You can get in using a FIB. You know, I, I don't use FIBs at all, but if you want to use Fibonacci, you can actually use that too, okay? But right now, we're talking about supply and demand right now, okay? And then we can show you some more examples of a FIB, whatever the case is. Now, it came back to supply, okay? A couple of things you can do. You can just say, you know what, I'm going to get in. Okay, as soon as it hits this supply right here, or you can wait for some type of reaction. We have a nice rejection right here. You can get in, you put your stop loss below. So let's put in our short position right here. So let's say that you got in, okay, as soon as the market hit this supply zone. Okay, so we're gonna go right here and we're gonna put our stop loss a little bit above the zone. Okay, now where do we wanna target? We wanna target at least the first. The first uh, major swing low, okay. So which is this one right here? Because this one actually made this nice up move. So we can say, all right, let's target this swing low right here, okay. And this alone gave you eight to one risk reward, okay. So eight times your money it actually is eight point seven, okay. So this is a a good example of a sniper entry, guys, using supply and demand. So you're gonna Go to your four hour chart or your one hour chart. You can use both, four hour or the one hour, okay? You can drop down to the five minute chart and you're gonna look for some type of selling pressure or some type of buying pressure if you're, if you're buying. And then you're gonna uh, look for a possible demand area, okay? And then you're gonna get in and then you know manage the position when the market starts to go down, okay? Now, um, this is a nice little eight to one reward and you can make a lot of money on that, okay? So let's go to the next example. Okay, so right now we are looking at the euro dollar and we have a nice supply zone right here. So the next one is looking at supply and demand, okay? Um, so we have this nice supply area right here and I'm trying to look at, you know, the recent price action because, you know, we can always go back in the past and look at perfect stuff. So I'm trying to show you guys what happened this week, okay? So to show you guys this stuff works, right? now. Um, we have this zone right here. Okay. This supply zone right here. Notice how price came back to this supply zone. Okay. This is the one hour. So we're going to circle this right here. So when we go back to the four, actually the five minute chart, we're going to see where to enter. Okay. So let's go to five minute chart. Okay. So we are here on a five minute chart. Okay. And what do we see? Okay. Now. I see a nice okay breakdown. So we see the market went into this level right here, started to consolidate a little bit, okay, and then it broke out of this consolidation. This alone right here will basically get me in the market. Okay. Now let's erase this right here. Now I see a nice supply right here, zone right here. And basically what I can do is just draw this right here. Now, since this is a bigger time, I'm just gonna put, put my stop above here, okay? So since this is a one hour, and I'm trying to get that sniper entry, okay? I'm gonna put my stop loss above here. So basically, we're gonna have this nice supply zone right here. Notice how we had this break right here, but we're gonna put our stop, so this is supply right here. But we're gonna put our stop loss above here. So let's do that right now. We actually, as soon as it go to this supply area, we can actually go short. So let's go to this short position right here. We're gonna put our stop loss above here. And we're gonna look for a target soon. So just give me a second. Let's go down here. All right. Okay, so we're gonna put this a little bit above this high right here now let's look at a, a target a profit target okay so this is a major we can say this right here okay 
we're gonna look for a major swing low okay so i do see one this is the one this is the move right here that made this big move so we say you know what we could target this so we go all the way back down to these lows right here okay and sometimes you, you know you don't want to put it below these lows that's a good tip this is another good tip okay you know it just came to me right now a lot of times the market will come so let me show you let me just draw a zone real quick a lot of times the market will come to these lows right a lot of times it just go you know inside the zone and then pop right back up so that's another good tip for you guys i forgot i just thought about that while i was doing the video recognize that and understand that when it gets close to these zones you probably want to either watch price action or maybe take off you know most of your uh, position right here because there's a strong possibility it could bounce right back up okay so that's another good tip for you guys now this alone right here is a 12 to 1 okay so we're looking at a 12 to 1 okay using a sniper entry using supply and demand using a one hour chart dropping back down okay dropping back down to the five minute chart okay using supply now let me show you guys another entry okay so we just use the supply but let's go to let's erase this real quick and let's go to the Fibonacci's because I know some of you guys like to use Fibonacci's I just like to use you know strictly uh, you know price action but a fib right here guys can actually work pretty good and I'm gonna show you right now um, we have a fib retracement right here we come right here to the low okay and we have price going to the 0.618 zone okay and bouncing off so you can use this 618 um area or even the seven even the 0.78 area okay for your entry too okay so i'm showing you guys the fibonacci or a supply and demand zone okay you can actually get in with these sniper entries and attack okay and look for your good you know risk reward ratios so let's go and show you guys another example okay so let me show you guys another example okay when it comes to these sniper entries we talked about resistance right already support and resistance and the second one was supply and demand so you go into the higher time frame you're looking for supply and demand now the third one guys we were talking about is a trend line okay so right now you see how the market is going down is the four hour chart and we can tell that this is a nice little trend line right here so let's go right here right you can take trend line going right here now when you get two connections okay that the third one is the one you want to look at okay so in order to draw a trend line you need first you need two connections what we got right here we have one two right here and then that third connection that's the one you want to get in so let's um circle this right here we're going to go to the five minute chart and we're going to look for a sniper entry so let's go to the five minute chart okay guys we are at the five minute chart we are near this uh trend line right here so let's erase this okay so let's zoom in real quick and what do we see okay what do we see i see okay as soon as we hit this uh trend line right here you can tell sellers came in at in the, in the building right you can tell sellers came to market right nice little supply right here so to me this tiny candle i'm not looking at that so i would just take this candle right here and let's go to this Okay, and we're gonna basically draw our supply, right? And we're gonna wait for a price to hit it. Okay. And we're gonna say, okay, when price hits this zone, we can actually get in automatically. Or you can wait for some type of confirmation, right? Nice little bearish bar or something like that to get in the market. But we just gonna basically wait for price to come in and then get in. Again, you can use the Fibonacci. Okay, you can get in at 0.618. Okay, and as soon as it hit that 618, okay, you'll be in the market and you'll put your stop loss above here somewhere. Okay, and you just wait for profit. So let's erase this real quick and we're going to go to our short position right quick. Right, and let's see what we get out of this trade. Um, we can say, all right, if we used the 618, okay. That would be around here we put our stop loss above this candle right here and then we're looking for okay let's look for a major low we have one right here so we're going to say all right when it gets down to here okay guys we're going to look for when it gets down to here we're going to look to get out okay and this right here guys is a nice 
17 to 1 risk reward, which is beautiful, guys. Very, 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 very beautiful. Okay. Now, that is another way you can get in using trend lines. Okay. When you see the market reacting to that trend line and you seeing selling pressure come in, okay. Here's another example, guys, right here. It hit the trend line again. So, but you'll be in this move, okay? And then you can tell that it didn't even come back to your break even stop. But this is another good example right here, okay? As soon as they hit that trend line, it came back to this, okay? So, as soon as it hit the trend line, you see the selling pressure. You could use your, your FIB or you use your uh, supply and demand, okay? So, supply and demand, I see a nice little zone right here, okay? So, basically, I would use the top right here, okay? This is where the move started right here. Um, you can use that supply zone or you can use your fib if you want to me like i said i like to use this you know regular price action but i know some of you guys like to use fibs let's see what the fib is looking like okay the fib is looking like a, a 0.618 it's right here so let's look at the fib okay fib we can get in at that 618 at 0.618 and you know look for your profits so that's another way guys you know trend line you go to your either four hour chart or a one hour chart you look for a nice trend line you drop down to the five minute you see sellers come in and you attack okay you wait for that pullback okay that retest either at that 618 or at that supply zone or demand zone okay and you attack right so that's another great way to get a sniper entry so let's go to the next way guys okay so let's talk about the last way okay which is you know using reversals today we're going to talk about a head and shoulder that's a reversal pattern okay so we have a head right here okay let's draw that real quick a head right here a left shoulder right here and a right shoulder right here guys all right so as soon as we get that right shoulder we're going to look for price to uh start to sell off so let's go to that five minute chart right okay so we are at the five minute chart okay so this is where the right shoulder started to you know basically sell off okay now right here guys you see how the market selling off is a little you know weak you can tell that sellers is you know barely selling off okay now this is what i want to see you see how now you see how sellers start to pick up right here this is what i want to see guys so let's erase this okay so honestly i wouldn't touch nothing around here so this is where i'm looking to get in right here guys right when the market was selling off like crazy so let's back this up okay and we could say, okay, this is supply zone right here. Nice little supply zone right here. Now, notice how it went a little bit above this. This is why you have to put your stop loss a little bit above the candle. But but let's say, let's say it stopped you out. Okay, what are you gonna do? A couple of things you could do. You say, okay, it stops you out. Okay, but even though it stopped you out, it barely went anywhere. So me personally, I'll probably re-enter. I will probably go back in the market and you know look for profits. So right now we have a nice supply zone right here okay and basically it didn't really go at a stop loss but i'm just trying to give you guys okay a different scenario let's say it did stop you out okay because we all know that the market not perfect and you you know you definitely want to get some stop outs okay we can actually say all right is it an opportunity to actually get back in and yes you can just get back in all right and look for your profits now this one if we go to the short position okay let's say that uh basically we went short okay as soon as it went to the zone we put our stop loss up above here somewhere above here okay and we're looking for that uh that major zone okay actually we can look for this right here this is a nice little demand zone right here and this is a nice nice risk reward guys look at this risk reward right here okay this demand zone right here we can say all right we're going to target this one since this is a demand zone, you want you don't want to go underneath this. You just put it right here, okay? And this is right here. This is a 25 to 1 risk reward. Crazy, right? Now, another thing I want to show you guys, okay, where you can even dial down even more. So let's go to, I want to go to the one-minute chart, okay? And let's just keep this up here, okay? And let's go to the one-minute chart. Okay, guys, we are at the one-minute chart. Now, this is very insane right here guys right if you can actually somehow make this part of your strategy you know you can see some insane risk reward now i'm not going to say that this is going to be easy i'm not one of those guys okay um but if you can nail this down 
okay you can get some sick risk reward so i'm gonna show you guys real quick now this is the one minute chart right so this is where the the, the right shoulder uh started to sell off okay now notice how we have okay some you you will start to see some selling pressure right here um on the one minute chart a couple of things you can do okay this is a little supply and demand zone okay on that one minute chart you can say you know what i'm only risking this you know this tiny bar right here shoot let me just see if this supply zone will basically hold let me get in right here okay or you can even draw a fib well, let me see if i can draw a fib right here we can look at that 61.8 okay which is around here but we're going to use the supply zone right here okay let's say that we say you know what this is only a tiny bar even if we get stopped out who cares it's only a tiny bar right here this is how you get insane risk reward this is the one minute chart okay now I, if you're a beginner i don't recommend this okay but this is possible um especially if you're looking for that crazy risk reward now we are going to look at that short position right here okay so let's look at that risk reward he was looking at before guys all right let's go to five minutes because i gotta zoom out Okay, so we are we back to the five minute chart. Okay, so remember this was the five minute target. Okay, this is the target we had with the five minute. Back to this uh, demand zone right here. So let's take this this uh, one minute and let's look at this demand zone right here. Okay, let me zoom in a little bit. Because remember this is the one minute right here, and we are this demand zone. So let's go down real quick. All right, and let's look at this. Let's look at the risk reward, guys. So this risk reward, guys, is a 34 to one, guys. So that means that whatever you're risking times that by 34, okay? That is crazy. Now, I'm here to tell you guys that one minute strategy, okay, is very insane. It's crazy risk reward, okay? But if you try that one minute strategy, I'm gonna tell you, and most people won't tell you because they always trying to make things seem all, you know, you never lose type of situation but if that if you're using that one minute chart guys you're probably going to have to try at least you know two three four times before you get it right okay but even let's say that you even lose three or four times you're still up 30 r you're still up 30 times your money okay so that is crazy so if you're using like, like a one minute like chart like that you have to expect to get stopped out uh you know a couple of times or, or, or three or four times before you get it right okay so me personally I don't recommend any beginner try to do this with the one minute chart first okay try with the five minute chart get used to that and then you know go from there but um, yes you can actually scale down to the one minute chart and catch these insane risk reward ratios okay especially if you are a swing trader okay now let me show you guys a trade that I took this week and it was sort of a uh, sniper entry but i day trade so i didn't really hold it that long so let me show you guys real quick okay so this is the nasdaq 100 i'm quite sure you guys know that i love trading the nasdaq 100 this is the four hour chart what we have here guys is uh supply right here guys and we hit this zone right here sold off okay this is where i started to see this right here right and this is where um, the market started to sell off. So let me go to the five minute chart real quick. Now I started to see this right here. Okay. Notice how we have nice selling going on right here. I took this trade right here. We had a nice supply zone right here. So I took this trade right here. Actually, let me put this right here. I'll put it. Okay. So I saw this supply right here and I actually post this on my Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, guys, make sure that you follow me on Instagram. Sometimes I post some of my trades there but anyway i saw this demand actually supply area right here and as soon as price went to this area right here i actually put my limit order in and this was a nice winner for me okay i was looking for a nice three to one and th the reason why i didn't hold this trade um longer because you know i day trade so i'm not looking to swing trade but if this was a swing trade guys right i would target either these lows or this low but this was the major swing low right here so i would target somewhere around here so let's basically look at that ratio okay so i got in right there and let me see let's go to that short position right here guys i would just go maybe somewhere around here okay uh i wouldn't go probably i wouldn't go 
beneath. I mean, like I said, a lot of times it will go underneath, okay, the swing low, okay? Or if you want to just keep it safe, just go right back to that zone. So this trade right here, guys, if I uh, decide to hold this trade, this would be a nice 15 to 1 reward ratio, okay? So another nice sniper entry, just using simple price action. I'm not using a whole bunch of indicators. If you notice, guys, I'm using simple price action. That's it, guys. I'm not using a whole bunch of indicators or, you know, crazy circles or anything like that. I'm just using simple price action. That's what you have to use when it comes to trading. You have to try to keep it as simple as possible. I actually post this trade in my uh, Discord group. Let me show you that real quick. Okay, so this is my Discord room right here for my private students. And I share my charts, you know, with them and try to help them out and help them understand, you know, what I'm looking at and why I'm looking at it. And right here, we have a nice supply zone right here. I was telling them, listen, I'm looking for a nice reaction and I'm looking to get in with a limit and um, price hit that limit. Okay. And then boom, you see price start to sell off like crazy. Okay. Okay. So this is what I do, you know, in the group, I answer questions. I post my charts. Sometimes I post it ahead of time. Tell them, hey man, this is what I'm looking at. And uh, I help, you know, my students out. Listen, if you don't have my training videos by now, it comes with this Discord group. You are missing out, guys. Listen, I have 13 years of experience and I understand how the market works. Like if you're trying to sell or buy blindly at a support and resistance zone, you know, you, you, you're going to have to know what you're doing. OK, this is why you need training. And if you don't have my training program by now, go check it out below, guys and girls. You won't regret it. Trust me, you will learn a lot, okay? Right now, I'm in the process of trying to build this uh, trading community. Right now, it's a new group, and I'm trying to build full-time traders. This is what I. This is my main goal. I'm trying to build full-time traders. Right now, the group is small, so that simply means right now, I can actually give you guys all of my attention, and whatever question or whatever problem that you're having right now, I can help you with that, okay? I will answer all your questions, if you have a problem with a trade, I will tell you to send me the chart. I'm going to look at the trade and say, hey, man, listen, you're doing this wrong, okay? But I'm able to do that right now because the group is small. But when the group gets bigger, you know, I'm not going to be able to do that. So make sure that you take advantage of this right now because this is a life-changing opportunity that will help you grow as a trader so it can help you become that full-time trader, okay? You deserve that. You know you deserve that, especially if you've been putting that work, okay? You definitely deserve it. Let me actually show you some other trades that I made this week. It's not sniper trades, but let me show you some other trades. Uh, shout out to my students making some pips right here. Uh, let me see, making some pips right here. Another one of my students making some pips right here. Another pips, pips. Now, I'm going to show you guys uh, another setup that I showed the room. Um, you know, another demand zone I was actually looking at. And... Um, basically called it beforehand okay and then we had a nice little pop up to the upside now this trade it was pretty much close to four to one which is you know four times your money um this was a lovely trade you know straight to the point as soon as it hit this demand zone it played around a little bit but it shot right back up so let me show you guys the trade i took today and here are the trades that i took today the first one was a loser the second one was a nice three to one making back all my money plus some okay that's the name of the game you have to know how to have your winners bigger than your losers this is the end of this video guys i hope you guys got some value out of this if so hit that like button guys follow me on instagram make sure you hit that subscribe button guys make sure you comment below okay comment below about anything that you want to see okay or any question that you have or any video that you want me to make comment below okay share this video and again hit that like button it only takes two seconds make sure you watch more of my videos on my youtube channel and guys please have a great day